Hello, Facebook and YouTube world. Welcome to another edition of Leander ISD's Hot Topics as we learn with Bruce. And I get to introduce some of Bruce's friends, some of our experts in Leander ISD, who are going to help us on some of the hot topics that we know are on the hearts and minds of you as we continue to live in this coronavirus COVID-19 world. So here I'm going to go ahead and introduce a couple of our friends to introduce some topics and give you some answers of things that you want to know. First, Sarah Martinez, our Director of Research, is going to talk about our Time Capsule Project. Uh, we asked Sarah, what is the Time Capsule Project and why is it important to collect artifacts and what can we learn from this? Years from now, you will probably look back and remember 2020 as the year that you finished school at home and spent a lot of your time away from what you considered your normal life. We are living and experiencing an unprecedented time in modern history, one that has not only caused our current perceptions of the world around us to change, but will likely have an impact on our future world. With this in mind, we're excited to launch a special time capsule project for our staff and our students. This is an amazing opportunity to reflect on what the last few months have meant for us as learners and supporters of LEARN. Taking time now to reflect and creatively respond is a great way for us to process both our individual and our collective experiences during this historic time. We can all be a part of documenting our experiences and our place in history. We want every student, pre-K through 12, and all the teachers and staff to help us write our history. Time capsule entries can be as elaborate or as simple as you wish write, draw, paint, video, or build something that represents this moment in history. We are hoping to capture the good, the bad, and the real. We'll be accepting submissions through the end of July. You can get more information on the district website. My hope is that every student and staff member will consider being a part of the hashtag OneLISD Voice 2020 Time Capsule. Our next hot topic and learning opportunity comes from our Director of Counseling Services, Steve Clark. We asked Steve, what advice do you have for high school seniors as you continue to get into the summer months and get to transition to after high school and post-graduation? We know spring 2020 has been a trying time for our students, including our graduates, as they navigate to the next phase of their life. Here are a few tips to assist with your transition to college, career, or military. Finish strong and complete your coursework so that your graduation status is not in jeopardy. We know it may be difficult to stay motivated, but stay in communication with your teachers and counselors to stay on track for graduation. If your plans have changed, feel free to reach out to your counselor or college and career transition coordinator for help. Many colleges are still accepting applications for fall 2020. NACAC maintains a list of approximately 750 colleges nationwide with openings for the fall. Stay in contact with the college you plan to attend for any updates. If your family's income has changed, contact the university's financial aid, financial aid office as soon as possible while being mindful of deadlines and submit any required fees or documents as soon as possible. Check with your high school counseling office to make sure you've requested your final transcript to be sent to the correct college. High school, your high school counselors are available to assist you until June 12th. After that time, Leander ISD will have a summer counselor available to assist graduates with questions and concerns over the summer. Students can contact this counselor by emailing postgradhelp at Leander ISD. Thank you and finish strong. Next up, our executive director for curriculum, Jennifer Collins, a regular on our show, is going to tell everybody about what summer school is going to look like, what summer programs will look like for our students as we enter into June. Because our Leander ISD buildings are closed, that means that our summer program and summer school offerings will be offered remotely this year. Our high school students do have an opportunity this summer to continue to earn credits on courses where they may still have some incomplete assignments. We want to encourage our high school students who still have incompletes after the last day of school to continue working with us through the summer so that they can get those credits added to their high school transcripts. We will be offering a number of um, courses for original credit this summer in a remote way. We are going to offer geometry, algebra two, English four, and biology this year for original credit um, using remote learning. These will not be courses that are self-paced. Instead, they will be taught by a teacher. 
um, and students will have some deadlines to meet moving through those courses, but we're super excited to be able to offer those courses this year. Our elementary and middle school students this year will have some additional opportunities to continue practicing over the summer. Um, all of that information can be found on our Leander ISD summer webpage. And then for all of our students, pre-K through 12th grade, we encourage you to read, read, read this summer. That is something that is most important to us for all of our students. Next up on Hot Topics in Leander ISD, we have Assistant Superintendent um, Devin Padaville, Area Superintendent, new to our district. He's going to talk about the planning for August. Um, he presented last week at our Board of Trustees meeting about a continuum of scenarios that we're exploring and preparing for as we continue to respond to COVID-19 and we prepare for a 2020-21 school year. So here's Dr. Padaville to talk about that. Hello, I'm Devin Padaville, Area Superintendent, and I'm coming to you today to talk about the work we're doing in Leander ISD with district leaders and principals to imagine what the start of school in August could look like. We have two distinct teams that are coming together. One team is focusing on what does social distancing and safety and the hygiene practices needed in our schools look like for August. Another team is coming together to really define what does high quality remote learning look like, or in another case, what does high quality blended learning look like? The difference between remote and blended is remote is a situation where maybe the circumstances require us to completely be at home. And blended is where we have students at school, but we also provide opportunities to learn from home. That is critical because in some cases, students with high health needs, or if the circumstances require another school closure, would require us to have a high quality product in the form of remote learning and or blended learning. The progress of this work will be updated and continue to be shared with you throughout the month of June and July so that you have more certainty about what school will feel like and look like in August. And finally, our Director of Health Services, our lead nurse, Kristen Wicketts, is going to give you an update about all of the public health response and how we partner with our public health agencies in Leander ISD. Hi Leander ISD, this is Kristen Wicketts, your district nurse. Hope this message finds you and your loved ones well. Here's a quick update on the Health Services Department. During a typical school year, school nurses collaborate with your, our state and local health departments on a regular basis. So when this pandemic situation occurred, it only made sense for us to, us to step up and assist where needed. You may have heard, we have some LISD nurses that have volunteered their time to team up with the Williamson County Health Department to assist in their contact tracing efforts throughout our community as well as some nurses that have been volunteering their time to screen children on a daily basis at a local YMCA, which is allowing our first responders to continue to serve our community. I could not be prouder to be part of this health services team, be a nurse, and be part of the LASD community. Now I wanna take a quick moment and remind you that it's gonna take every one of us to help slow the spread of COVID-19. There's a lot of new precautions and expectations set in place, so it only makes sense that the COVID fatigue may be setting in. So I'm here to tell you, you're doing a great job. Keep going, you got this. Thank you, thank you for being a community superhero and being diligent by wearing your face coverings in public, maintaining your social distancing, washing your hands, and staying home when you're sick. Stay safe, stay diligent, and take care.